Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video. And today I will show you guys how to set up dynamic wallpapers on the home screen of your iOS 15 device. Now this is an amazing feature that you can utilize to have dynamic wallpapers on your home screen, which of course will change automatically. Now in this video, I will show you guys the step-by-step -step process. Make sure you pay close attention and of course follow the guide to get dynamic wallpapers on the home screen of your iOS 15 device. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is head on to the shortcuts app. Once you're here, go ahead and create a new shortcut. What you need to do here is of course search for find photos. So go ahead, tap right there and search for find. So here we have photos and now what you need to do is tap on add filter. When you tap on add filter, here's where you set the album from where you want to get the photos. Now in this case, let's say I want to get the photos from my wall, wallpaper central album right here in which I have a bunch of great wallpapers. And then what we need to do is go to sort by and choose how you want to sort the wallpapers that are on that album. You can set here random or just pick anything you want and then enable the limit here and set this to one. Once you have done that, go ahead and search right here again and search for set wallpaper. Here we have set wallpaper, choose that and then right here we'll have lock screen and home screen. You can choose where you want to set the wallpaper, whether you want to do it on both lock screen and home screen or just one of them, of course you select them there. And once you're, you have done that, tap on that little arrow right there and disable show preview and you can enable or disable perspective zoom based on your preference. Now, once you're done with that, you can go ahead and name this. So let's just name it at auto wallpaper. So we have named this auto wall, click done right there. And now we're good to go. Now we have created a shortcut that changes the wallpaper automatically. You can see how it does it. You can see the wallpaper here. I can just go ahead and tap right there. You have to allow this right here only once. You do that and you will see the wallpaper has been changed automatically and it will change anytime I run this shortcut. But how to do it that you don't have to actually run the shortcut. Everything has to be done automatically. And this is how you do it. You go to automations right here and create a personal automation. Now right here, you can choose to automatically change the wallpaper at any time of the day you want. Or you, may, you can maybe choose when you connect to a Wi-Fi to a certain Wi-Fi network, or when you have your iPhone on low power mode or while charging or with iOS 15, you can choose any of your focuses. So let's say when you're on like do not disturb, you can set a different wallpaper. So in this case, we want to do time of the day. So I want to change my wallpaper every day at 8 a.m. So every morning I want to have my wallpaper changed automatically. I just go ahead and pick the time right here. And then every day at that time, I will have my wallpaper changed. So let's click next and make sure to tap on add action and search for run shortcut. Once you find run shortcut, click there, tap on shortcut right there and pick the shortcut we just created and then tap the next button. Disable this, click on don't ask and click done. And now you're good to go. Now let me show you guys how to set dynamic wallpaper for dark mode and light mode. So you will have dark mode wallpaper when dark mode is turned on and a light mode wallpaper when light mode is turned on. Now to do that, to have a wallpaper for the dark mode and one for the light mode change automatically whenever dark mode and light mode is enabled, you can go ahead and create two different albums on the photos app of your iOS 15 device. So here I have a dark album, which of course contains one wallpaper, which is the one for the dark mode. And I have another album called light and that's for the light mode. Now I can go to this app right here called wallpaper central. I will leave it linked right down below in the description of the video. And if you go to collections, you can go ahead and just scroll down here and you will find this collection right here, auto wallpapers, and you will find some really good wallpapers that have both dark and light mode. And that's really, really cool. So you can see a bunch of amazing wallpapers. Now to create this, what you need to do is go ahead and go to the shortcuts app. And from here, what you need to do is create again the shortcut. If you have already created it, you can just go ahead and 3D touch on it 
and tap on duplicate and of course you can change this so let's just rename this to light click done here once you have renamed it and duplicate this again and rename this to dark Now, once you have created these two shortcuts, what you need to do is tap on the three dots on the light shortcut and make sure you go ahead and on album right here, tap there and choose the light album that you have created. And you're good to go. Do the same for the dark mode, but of course, search here for the dark folder and you're good to go. Once you have done that, go to automations, tap the plus button and create a personal automation. Go to time of the day and right here you have sunrise and sunset. Now this is the mode that probably most people use when it comes to enabling light mode and dark mode on their device. Sunrise you have light mode, dark mode is set when sun sets. So go ahead and choose sunrise right there, click done here, click next and tap on add action, search for run shortcut, and then tap right there, tap on shortcut and choose a light right here, tap next, disable this, don't ask and you're done. Now go ahead, create another automation here. This one will be for sunset, so choose sunset right there, click done, click next, run shortcut here. And now what you have to do is choose of course dark, click next, disable this, and now you're good to go. You have already created two automations, one for sunrise, one for sunset, and your wallpaper will be changed between light and dark mode based, of course, on the dark mode and light mode that you have on your device, which is set, of course, again, to sunrise and sunset. That's how you can create dynamic wallpapers for your device. Or you can even just like choose an album just like I showed you at the beginning with a bunch of wallpapers and you can create a bunch of different automations here at different times of the day to change the wallpaper. So as you can see, I created one to change the wallpaper at 8 a.m. but I can set like five or six different automations right here at different times of the day to automatically change the wallpaper. This is how easy it is to create like dynamic wallpapers that change automatically on the home screen of your iOS 15 device. So that's basically it for this video guys. This is how you can set wallpapers that will change dynamically based on time of the day or any circumstance that you choose. By the way, you can also set these on iOS 14. So if you have a device on iOS 14.3, I believe it was and newer, you can go ahead and use the same method. So that is it for the video guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like as it helps out a lot and of course if you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and i will see you guys on the next one